and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here at Flemington Racecourse, the terminus of the Flemington Racecourse line. We've got a comment here waiting to depart. I'm not sure when it's going to depart. Today, um, the Craigieburn line is um, being operated by replacement buses. And what they've done is they've sent those replacement buses here to Flemington Racecourse and what you have to do is get on a train from here which will take you into the city. So that's the reason why it's operating. I'm not sure the last time when it did operate for passenger services because with coronavirus it hasn't been much of a reason for trains to come here. I guess they do have, um, they do stable some trains here I'm pretty sure so the line would have been used but I don't think it would have been used for passengers. Well, this is waiting to depart. I'll just give you a look at the station. This is platform two, I think. It might be one. Uh, that sign doesn't say. Yeah, I'm not too sure. You can see all those, um, well, they're not umbrellas. Shelters, I'll just call them. Up that way, they are for the buses people waiting for a bus to go to Craigieburn. This shutdown is due to the Glenroy, Glenroy level crossing removal project which is just getting into major construction now I think. Um, which has seen the closure of Glenroy Road and the subsequent closure of the Craigieburn line. And the comment is now departing 463M. Rear three cars are 326M. So while we wait for the next train to arrive, I'll give you a bit of a look around the station. I'm just filming this with my phone today because my camera is dead. It's the end of the platform. You can see the platform actually continues. This is because I think they used to run longer trains here. I've heard that they might have run really long Harris or Tate sets. Um, but obviously you can't really do that anymore. That explains the length of the platform. This is used, well, on Melbourne Cup Day, that would be the main uh, busy day for it. So you could, that explains why they need really long trains, or they would have needed really long trains. These days, I think operational requirements don't allow that for passenger services. It's a bit of um, jazz music playing. I'm not sure what it's coming from, where it's coming from, but it gives this station a bit of a grand feel. Race course itself is on that side. You can see those buildings there. Um, in the middle, there are two sidings, I think. Yeah, two sidings. Uh, they used to stable trains, I think, fairly regularly. And there's the platform on the other side too, platform one. Today, only platform two is being used And on this side, you've got something just somewhat unusual. You've just got some grass here. So you could even have a picnic here if they let you. A bit of shade, which is nice on a hot day like today, which I should probably be standing under. You can see a bus arriving now. I don't think it's got passengers. No idea when the next train's coming. Might just walk to the end of the platform. Here's a closer look at the end of the platform. The 
the large, what would you call it, stand pavilion, which is used on race days. Platform one. Then up here is the way into the station. I might just quickly walk up that. Ah, bus has just arrived. So it's gonna get a bit busier here. But yeah, at the moment, you come off the bus and you walk through these gates here, these grand gates. And you have to actually touch on your Mikey here, it's sort of out of the way, because normally the entrance is from this side. Um, as this is the way into the race course. But yeah, instead you have to come through here. It'd be good if you're a local resident finally having a train service. But, um, yeah, it's an interesting arrangement because normally the buses just run straight into North Melbourne. So I'm not sure why they're not doing that. I suppose I better give this a rating out of 10. I'm going to give it a... Uh, 7.5 out of 10. Bit of a rundown station for obvious reasons, it's not regularly used. But it's got so many interesting quirks to it. And I think this is actually the first time I've been to it, so I'm finding it quite interesting. Um, so yeah, 7.5 out of 10 for Flemington Racecourse. Actually, down this way, it looks like there is another entrance point to the station. I'm not sure what this entrance is for, if I'm even allowed to be walking down here. I will. Driver's standby room. It's got Mikey rooms. So, must be used sometimes. And if you look, look through this way, you can actually see the city. It's a bit obscured by the trees, but it's nice to see it nonetheless. I'm not sure if this is an old signal box. Could well be. Oh, we've actually got a common driving. It's coming in very slowly. Front half's Alston refurbished. And the rear's EDI. 537M and 542M. You can see why this bit of the platform is no longer used. There's an excessive gap between the train and the platform. It's interesting. I don't know if it's going to stop at Southern Cross. We'll see what happens. Anyway, that's enough for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Not often you can get to go to Flemington Racecourse. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.